Hey everyone, uh, we are still on the breaking the foot seduction and we will be starting now with step one of how to break um, the foot seduction. This is Leah Q from Our Health, Our Wealth. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Step one that um, would assist us or help us to break the food seduction is the breakfast. Most of the people we skip breakfast because we are too busy to eat breakfast. But by the time that we start eating, it is already towards lunchtime and we overeat. And because of that, we tend to add more calories because we skipped the breakfast. What are the benefits of, of, of taking breakfast? Breakfast keeps your cravings stable up until the next meal comes. But because we skip breakfast, we end up having to snack before we get to a bigger meal, which is almost double um, the amount of food that maybe we're supposed to be taking. With the issue of the breakfast, um, breakfast has been proven uh, through research that it keeps, as I said, sugar stable. It does not make the spikes like the up and down of the sugars that makes us to, to snack in between the meals. And also, when we eat a breakfast, we concentrate better. So that is why um, a research also was done on a primary um, children where if they didn't have a breakfast, they concentrate less in class. But with breakfast, they can be able to concentrate better because they have eaten in the morning. I think that is also one of the reasons why the uh, um, National Nutrition for, for School Feeding has introduced the issue of breakfast also because there are those children that would come to um, school without having eaten breakfast so that they can be able to um, concentrate better because it also promotes um, their academic performance or their performance at school. Um, it is far much better than when they did didn't have breakfast. What kind of breakfast should we actually eat that would be able to um, curb the cravings that we would have or even the um, snacking that we would normally do before lunch? Number one, we must have a nutritional breakfast, meaning a healthy breakfast. And also number two, secondly, we need to have a fiber rich breakfast. When we talk about fiber rich breakfast, um, a bacon and egg and, and white uh, uh, bread won't give us um, the fiber that is needed for um, us to be able not to have cravings or to snack in between. So we need things like oats we can take for breakfast, things like millet that would keep us stable um, for the period before lunch and also fruit. We need actually to start with fruit before we get to our um, cereal or our porridge. Also, all bran, the wheat beets, it's all the healthy breakfasts that are that have got fiber and that are also nutritious that we should be able to start our day with and that would be able to make us to cope um, uh, with the day and the challenges that we face during the day. The other thing that is needed in um, a breakfast is protein. But what kind of protein do we take that won't make us to crave uh, or to snack in between? We need um, something like plant-based protein or vegetable protein. One of the things that I can think of that is very high in protein that we can take to replace um, the eggs, um, it's tofu. We can have scrambled tofu as part of the of the of, of the protein to be able to have a healthy breakfast that would last us to um, before um, lunch and also that would help us not to snack. They won't um, increase the serotonin, which is a, a regulator of the mood and and sleep. They won't increase um, serotonin. Instead, they would block serotonin so that we are not sluggish at work. So we will be able to cope even with the challenges and the responsibilities that we have, whether it's at work or at home or whatever challenges that you have or activities that you, they will help us to, to, to um, cope with them. Otherwise, without eating a healthy breakfast, we end up being sluggish, 
sleepy, moody. That is why you'll see people that are de depressed snack a lot. Or people that are, are depressed, they eat a lot of sugary stuff like the chocolate and all the other things. So um, that is our step number one. Make sure or ensure that you eat your breakfast, you don't skip your breakfast. Even if you take it to work, you're going to eat it when you arrive at work. But make sure that you eat the breakfast because it is the one that is going to be able to fuel necessary energies for you to be able to cope with your work and also not to snack in between and not to have cravings. Thank you and don't forget to follow, to subscribe, to share on the social media like Instagram, um, Facebook and YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.